That would be a good race. Okay, so Hag is uh, potentially going to get bit by Snacker here. He does. And that's going to be it for Hag. <laughs> I guess it's just the nature of this tournament, and it can end very fast. We've seen a lot of races uh, get decided in the first three levels, so... This is really scary for Trinan. Yes, yeah, Snacker is... Yeah. Feeble eggs, no match. Trap has to be careful here. He did miss the... chest. Crucial moment here. Roll into that. Oh my god. Aaron! Jesus! Go to your go to your totals, Bali. Oh, did, he, did he do it? We have to add his totals up. This could be this would be close. So he has to get more more than me, right? Oh no. Okay. I Alright, here we go. Black crab with no gold feathers and we'll actually and survive. Slongshire just lost. Already. I thought he didn't jump high enough for his big bus, because I know the meat and skin that's a lot bigger than the other Oh no, he took damage! Oh no, that's that's <laughs> Oh no, he took damage! <laughs> well, the finals is set. It is made the great versus Hagen. to get going we're ready you guys ready I don't know. I don't think it's like two minutes. It might be like 30 seconds. But you guys are both ready. I'm good to give you the countdown. All right. Three, two, one, go. Good luck. All right. 
about to get underway here. Um, yeah, I can definitely turn the music down. Uh, that. Oh, yeah, yeah, hold on. All right, Hag is very far behind, it looks like. Also, it's fine because I'm going to skip text, so basically just up. Thing. I do not understand how they're, they're able to pull that off, to be fair. Yeah, I think I might have just had you. What? Oh, can people hear me now? Yeah, if you want to say what you were just saying. All right, so for this grand final, we're going to ha be having two people that somehow managed to basically run damage less by going extremely fast like you've seen people d go very safe including me like people have said have been complaining about the fact that i go really slow well these guys somehow they managed to actually keep up with their runs without actually going that's that much slower and it to me that's just crazy that these guys are able to do it yeah definitely two guys who have been Doing damage list a lot lately, whether it's Tui or Kazuki. Yeah. Recently, they've been both running damage once for Tui, basically because there's a, a one dollar bounty to for whoever can do it first, and these guys have been pretty much the two contenders for it. Yep. And with Tui damage ones, like the big challenge of that is mainly the length honestly because once once you're three hours in and you take damage like for most people you cannot have a second attempt like you're done for the day but for Benjo Kazooie when you're grinding damage less like most of your resets are 20 minutes in so it's pretty easy to just do multiple attempts in a row yeah for sure All right, now it's time for Mumbo's Mountain. It's generally a pretty easy level, but we uh, a level, but it, we've seen a lot of memes happen in Tinker's Tower, so we'll we'll see what happens. Ooh, that was close for that thermite there. For oh my Ag. god, that's scary. Okay, he's good. Um, yeah. So, Hag's gonna have to win uh, two races here he wants to take home the title because he's coming out of the loser's bracket and Nade has not lost yet. We'll see if he can uh, pull that off here. Yep. Nade's looking to just end this right here. This race. And it does seem like Hag is going to be going for the FBA route, or as some people call it, the, the RRBA route, since he's going to be grabbing this token right there. Unless he really wants to do the full RBA route, but nobody ever does that in race in damageless races, because if you fail FP early, well, you're done. Very true, very true. Very risky trick to do in damage list.
All right, now time for Nate's Tinker Tower. Ne never mind. <laughs> yeah. I always forget that you don't do that <laughs> quite now. <laughs> he'll be he'll be back. I always forget that you actually did that much later in the run for Xbox. Reverse reverse is the biggest meme. Yeah. <laughs> it's not as bad as the longer backwards firewards long throughout. Which is a trick in BGS that where you basically do a zip to basically zip through half of BGS. Alright, looks like Haga had a clean conga section there. Now it's time to see what happens with Nate now. Oh, missing one switch there. Alright. Now time for something that... Uh, for, for uh, Ag, I would say that he's pretty safe with Mumbo's Mountain. Like, I don't think we've ever seen anybody die there, but it could happen, but it's so unlikely. Yeah. Because enemies don't tend to get in your way in this part. Oh yeah, we should make a prediction. How do you make a pre make a prediction, go go? Uh, yes. What do you want me to put as a prediction? Um, wins? little hag force bracket reset. Oh yeah, definitely. All right. How long do I want to make the prediction? Uh, do like seven minutes. Uh, I guess we'll go with five since that's yeah. the closest thing. <laughs> All right. All right, I did make a typo. It's four, snap four. Um, since, so since Hag's coming out of the loser's bracket, he has to get the bracket reset, give Nate a loss, because Nate hasn't lost yet. Yeah. It's so we would do another, yeah, so we would do another race if Hag forces it. In, in other words, we're we're asking if Hag's gonna win this race. Yeah. Because there could be another one after this if Hag happens to win this one. Someone dropped bank on no. No spiral mountain, no spiral mountain death here, Captain Cole, coming in with the subscription. All right, now it's time for for Nade's Tinker's Tower coming up soon. It's even more risky on the Xbox because you cannot roll into the termite as the termite. Yeah. <laughs> Very scary part as on on Xbox right here. Yeah, and for those that have been watching the Trotless tournaments, a lot of races have actually been decided in this in there right. because he's got the good RNG been... right there. He's not on the notes, so he should be good here. Ooh, that was close. Oh my oh, god, that was close. <laughs> <laughs> oh my, Nade. I'm telling you, these guys are not slowing down for the damage less raise. They're going all in. Yeah. So Hag's gonna go to TTC here. I'm not sure if Nade's gonna do clankers. Does Nade do clankers? First? I think I think he does, right? I think so. 
here, as it's tradition with Xbox ROMs. It is possible, there's I think two or three enemies that can hurt you, plus you can fall off the bridge and take fall damage in Power Mountain. It's very possible. Alright. Now it's time for the first slice section for Hag Girl where he could get hit by the lockup. Like, you don't get to see that often where somebody takes a hit there, but I think Trip managed to get hit there yep. in one of his runs. <laughs> yeah, Trip definitely had some rare run deaths, I could say. He got, he died at, like on the timer Jiggy in, in BGS, and then he died there. Up. Yeah, so it looks like Nade is going to open up this first. Alright. Going for the token first, that's pretty good. But now he still doesn't see where the Gruntling is, so he's gonna oh. go back on, on the pipe. <laughs> and then he's gonna go to Clanker's. Yep. So there's been a lot of debate whether going to Clankers first or going to TT first is good, but honestly, I feel like they pretty much average out. Yeah. Like, it's it's definitely easier to get past Clankers Cavern if you use the Gulf Feather strats for the Fan Blades, but with TTC, you just get so many collectibles early on that if you, do, if you get hit in TTC, then you could win on simply having more items before, but comparing to a similar ad in, in Clanker's Cavern. So it's a, it's a trade-off. Ooh, missing the jiggy here for, for Hag. He almost missed that Jinjil too. I thought it was too far. He was too far right there. Nade just makes his way through past those chompas. Didn't go, didn't try to kill him, which is, can prove to be a good strategy. All right, time for the slope there. That's scary slope. Yeah. Going for the quick Sometimes. dive. This is a big moment. He's good. Alrighty. Let's go. Yeah, he got good RNG with Slagger yeah. there. Hold on. And a question that often gets asked when, during a damage list run, like, can you go to Clanker's Cavern, get a go feathers, and then go... and then do a, a quick kill on Nipper? Like with gold feathers, and it turns out the end, that the answer is no because if you kill Nipper during the cutting, which would happen if you use gold feathers, the loading zone just doesn't appear, and you would, you would be forced to actually leave the level to actually get the stuff that's inside Nipper. The yeah, no, you can't gold feather the man. The man. So you could see that Haginator probably has close to 15 notes at this point. Meanwhile, Nate probably has close to 15. Yeah. However, you can Gold Feather Snacker and the Black Crab, which are two pillars of runs in this category. Oh yeah, definitely. Yeah. 
I I didn't really know what the the, the counts were, so I basically gave some approximates. Alright, now time for two risky parts. So we have the the big bombs for Hag. And we'll see if he bongs. Oh, there we go. Like that second big bomb always looks scary when you see people do them because you just end your big bomb right as you hit the wall pretty much. That is so scary. So risky. Meanwhile, we're gonna be having rings for from Nate, which is... A, it's a relaxing part, I would say, but there's always that tent that I think it's whiplash in the middle that can hurt you if you're not careful. Yeah. You fall too deep in into the water. As he misses a backflip, unfortunate. Alright, I could have almost skipped the jiggy dance there because he broke the chest so far left. Like if you if you if you break the chest like when he's farther far enough left, like the jiggy can bounce on the slope and it, it will land in the water and you can basically swim to get the jiggy. It it may sound like it's a bad thing, but since you're swimming you're skipping the dance. Black Crab for Hag coming up here. See how he handles All it. Right. Alright, let's see what kind of strats he uses for that. Alright, well done. Flip him over with the eggs and then uh, beat the barge. There we go. And now Hag is done with DDC. Meanwhile, we have Honeycomb backflip coming up, coming from Nade. That's kind of surprising. Executed. Yeah, like Nade is that one is that person in the community that's well known for actually not going for that strat. Like he used to not go to just like do the alternate strat. Which involves get, getting the notes on the pipe later. Yeah. Ooh, okay, there's water. Yeah. So he will lose <laughs> a, a cycle or two there, but. He hasn't taken damage, scared. it's okay. Yep. At least he can skip a couple of goes the second time since he got the first note. So yeah, it looks like it's gonna be maybe two cycles lost there. Yeah, definitely not an ideal Clanker's Cavern so here, so far from Nade here as he goes through the fans. Very intricate part, but he makes it through. I have no clue why he does that. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know how he does that. It scares me every single time. Yeah, it's not scary at all in a 100% run, but when you're doing a damageless run, it's... It's very scary. Yeah. He's gonna use him here. Like, like the, way that he, the way that he also go, goes into gold feathers there, he's basically sliding into the fan blades as he's doing that. Yeah. And it has happened once in one of his attempts where he basically got an eaten input when actually trying to get to use the gold feathers and he took it a hit there. As Hag made made it past the Chompas in the beginning of Clankers. What's up, Crosby? Yeah, you could you can see like runners going for a lot of gold fetters. There, gold fetters like they're so good in this category. Like you're scared of something, just use gold fetters. Yeah. A pain saw. How's it going? Wow, we have so many people watching right now. What is going on, everyone? Oh, 
both in clankers. Nade's gonna be heading to TTC after this. Hag has already completed it, so technically right now Hag you could say is in the quote unquote lead. Yeah. But honestly a lead is always something that that's has to be taken with a grain of salt with the in this category because one mistake could end everything. Yeah. How's it going, Trep? Doing good. How about you? There we go. Gold feathers. See, these crabs are scary. Let's use gold feathers. Yeah, I always use gold feathers, eh? I'm doing pretty good. Thanks. <laughs> Oh wow, I, I didn't realize that that's what a trap said too. <laughs> nice. Nice. <laughs> but that was also my answer. Alright. And here we're gonna see something that's a bit different from between Xbox and and N64 on Xbox, it's actually faster to save and quit on that jiggy and at the end of Clankers. Yeah. Simply because swimming all the way back to the PGS puzzle just takes a lot, a long time to do. What the... Uh, Xbox load time. On top of that. It's not that, it's the fact that you can, you, you can skip the the game over cutscene when you save and quit on Xbox. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right there. Like if, yeah. If you were to do that strat on N64, which I tried to route in a couple of times, well, you have to, you have to do a save and quit and then to skip the, the game over cutscene, you have to reset, which forces you to watch the, like the intro cutscene with. Yeah, yeah. The dragonfly. Yeah. bomb and stuff. Yeah. It was bomb. All right, time to get the Clinker's Cavern, which with Jiggy for Nade, which will not be gotten from Hag for a long time. It's kind of crazy that you can get that Jiggy like three times in yeah. the run in this this category, simply because you can do it first after Clinker's, the other time after MMM, and then the, the last time after after finishing Furnace Vaughn. Since you are, re you are resetting to actually skip the fake credits. It's the last scary champa for for heck for a long time there. Now let's see if it gets the alcove the alcove jumps a little better than Nade. <laughs> and he does. But Sally's gonna have to wait a long time for because he missed the cycle. Yep. By second. All right, see how he handles the fan blades. Well done. Wow. What's up, Dingo? What's up, David? Today is the day. Right, oh, have... Hag. Oh. This is his flight. But he can get these gold feathers if he chooses to. But he's not. I forget. <laughs> I, I forget. Could he have done like a jiggy dance skip by just jumping onto the jiggy before without touching the ground there? Or is that something that can only be done with Jinjo jiggies? Uh, I have no idea. 
<laughs> I don't think I don't think that would work. It's probably something to do with the Jinjo. But I don't know. All right, you could see Hago there going going a little slow with the gold feathers, but with this with a category such as damage less like going slow for these sections it can sometimes be really good wow it was so close to the center there yeah, he... oh you can do it oxalin says but it's very precise oh nice All right, time for the first flight section for Nade. Gary Lockup. Wow. Yep. Ready to chomp. He's good. And getting the fetters while he's there. Since, of course, he's, since he's running on Xbox, he's gonna be... He has learned everything through FFM. Yeah. This lockup's very scary as well. He's good. The hitbox on those teeth, man, is just really weird. Yeah. I think I've heard people say that they're, they tend to hit you more when you're touching the corners or something. Oh. <laughs> Looks like we had a snippet stuck on a corner there. <laughs> For Hag. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder how Hag's gonna do that now that he's gonna be down so many gold feathers. Because if there's one thing that you want in BGS, it's gold feathers, and you're gonna be. You're gonna be. It's really hard to actually just find gold feathers in BGS, since there, I think there's. Three on a cat tail, and that's basically it. Yeah. And there's like one behind the pathway up to the timer jiggy. Yeah. All right. Time for the slope of that for Ned. He's good. Right. And the quick dive. Ned likes to peck Snacker oh, here. No. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I thought he was so like going forward. Like it was so, so scary. Now nipper. <laughs> All right. Me, David. That's go go. Time to swim all the way back to the entrance for Hag there. Yeah. <laughs> oh, did Hag take damage? I missed it. Oh, from the crab? He, he must have. Oh, no. GG. Oh, no. Oh, uh, rip. Well, uh, I guess it's time to bring them into the call. Yeah. GG, Nade. Congratulations, oh, Nade. Ah, uh, dude. <laughs> GG, I can't man. believe that. I, I actually missed when it happened. I just looked over and saw you. I didn't even realize <laughs> that there could be an enemy there. I, I like, got I was so <laughs> shocked. Well... GG's. Time for Tui. <laughs> yep. Tui time. Alright. Oh my god. I don't think Nate even knows that he has won so far. Oh yeah, wait, well, yeah. Hold Nate. on. Thing is... There's a conspiracy here. Nate, uh... Nate, has to, Nate has to actually 
still not take damage, so. Oh yeah, true. He hasn't actually. Oh right, he he hasn't done. He hasn't done yet. Yeah. Wait, what happened? Wait, I had you... I had everything in clankers and TTC, so I had like thirty jiggies, thirty something jiggies, I guess. Okay. Oh yeah, you baited me, Chile. I think yeah, I was down. We baited, four we baited Nate. I totally forgot. We just called it because we're like, oh, it's over. Hag took damage. Oh wait. But no, yeah, Nate. Yeah, you have to just better. finish ETC. Oh, okay. I'm taking my headphones back on. All right. All right. Oh yeah. my God, we got conspiracy. Scott. We got the moderators <laughs> here trying to throw oh, the race. We're, we're so conspiracy. Well, they like such... took damage just for the meme there, and he actually Rain. lost. <laughs> Type one if it's rigged. <laughs> rigged. Yeah, they got 96 notes and clankers or something. No, I don't have two races. It's over for me because I was in losers. Are you a Pokemon stand in? Stand in. Imagine if he actually took the damage and had to play it play again. <laughs> That'd be absurd. Oh, that was crazy. He was like literally right there as soon as I left the water. He, like, I've never seen him like literally all the way over there. Yeah, I was like, all right, he's just gonna swim back to the entrance, and then I was just like watching yeah. Nade. Yeah, and he only needs like five mil since he already grabbed the Witch Witch Jiggy for Clankers, right? Oh, he did? Oh. Oh, yeah, true. Like, Wait, he, he grabbed, did, he grabbed he, the Witch Witch Jiggy? Yeah. yeah, he saves yeah, he and quits did. on the last Jiggy. Oh, yeah, then you come back up. That makes sense. Yeah, like, now I think, <laughs> like, once he gets one of the nodes in the water, it's, uh, it's really over. Since, like, both of them have the same jiggies so far and the same notes. <laughs> Damn, I got fucked by that crap. Yeah. <laughs> Go, Nade. Ah, uh, right. GG, dude. Alright. GG. Now it's over. <laughs> yep. Now it's really over. All right. I see a clip of that, it's funny. Alright, time to get back there. GG, right, Nate. GG, Nate. Congratulations. I'm proud of you, babe. GG for real. <laughs> now it is the race where we get the two we run. Oh, shit. Yeah, now it's... Now got the mic. <laughs> is it over? Yeah, yeah, yes. you're good. You won. Okay. So what happened? Uh... I got fucked. Yeah, Hag took the damage crab, to the I crab. I was leaving the water. I was like right there. Leaving clankers. Oh my God. Yikes. Nice yeah, you, like you know the one like at the bottom at the beginning. Yeah. I know yeah. exactly which one. Damn. Yeah. Yeah, now. You tickled my cock. Well, time for two e damage ones, am I right? Yes. Yeah. Oh, well, I'm right. <laughs> Hag is right. already doing it, so oh, we're already, already, already doing it. it. <laughs> 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 All right, congrats, Nate. I love you, babe. Yeah, GG's guys. All right, well, I guess uh, this is a good time to say thanks for watching the tournament. It was a lot of fun. Uh, some entertaining races and some ones that didn't last very long. But uh, coming up on the channel, a couple tournaments starting up soon. Tui Bingo. The BK Novice Tournament and the 2E 100% Tournament coming soon. Oh yeah, 2E 100. That'd be fun. Yeah. So the channel is going to be on a little hiatus until those tournaments start. But I always check back in a couple weeks for some more Banjo Race.